بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب the place of manners أخلاق which refers to our actions which come from within inside ourselves and are confined or related to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially if it is good akhlaq, because akhlaq can be good and bad. It can be both good and evil. So good akhlaq is that which adheres to obedience to Allah azza wa jal. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabih al -kareem, يَا أَيُّهَا النَّاسُ إِنَّا خَلَقَنَاكُمْ مِنْ ذَكَرٍ وَأُنْثَى وَجَعَلْنَاكُمْ شُعُوبًا وَقَبَائِلًا لِتَعَرَّفُوا إِنَّ أَكْرَمَكُمْ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ أَتْقَاكُمْ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in Surah Al-Hujurat He subhanahu wa ta'ala says O you mankind Verily, we have created you from male, from a male and a female. And we've made you into different nations and tribes so that you would know one another. And verily, the best of you or the most righteous of you with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is those who possess taqwa from amongst you. And taqwa ayu al-ahbab, as we said many times, taqwa azza wa jal, it refers to, as the ulama referred to it, as those, as adhering to the commands of Allah azza wa jal and refraining from those things Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prohibited. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with tawfiq in that. The Prophet Ali Akhdal Salatu Wasalam said, Inna Allah la yandru ila adsadikum wala ila wala ila surikum wala kin yandru ila kulubukum ila kulubikum wa amalakum. Ruahu Muslim. In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet والسلام, said, Verily Allah does not look to your bodies or your shapes, nor your, uh, your appearance. So your body and your appearance. And the ulama, they distinguish. And obviously the Prophet والسلام, uh, mentioned the difference between ad sadiqum وصورهم. that the adsad, the body, and the sur, they differ. And the Prophet ﷺ said, However, he looks to your hearts and your deeds. So again, this is also part of good manners, part of good akhlaq. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to do those things which are obedient to him and come closer to him. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us of our many sins and our shortcomings. And perhaps we will take this week and dedicate ourselves to having a series of short five-minute talks regarding uh, manners, all related to manners. We'll, we'll try to spend uh, the next five days with something beneficial related to manners, whether it be a hadith, whether it be an ayat, whether it be some benefit from the ulama of Ahl Sunnah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with Am Nafi, Ruskan Tayyib, wa Amin al Muntakabilan, wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Nabiya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.